Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher from Vancouver, BC. And today I have the privilege to interview Ron Godier from Chicago. Hi, Ron. How are you doing? I'm great, Meher. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for being here. So Ron believes in the combination of talent and intelligence. He believes in technology, new ways of thinking, and the future of work, which we're going to talk about later. He also believes in helping individuals and companies find the next right step in their evolution. So John, Ron, my first question for you is, you've also launched an online magazine dedicated to solve talent equation and making the experience better for everyone involved, candidates and companies. Sure. So any tips in terms of candidate experience that you have seen after COVID? You know, it's it's been interesting because it, it, things have really changed a great deal uh, due to 2020. 2020, in my opinion, was a catalyst mm -hmm. uh, to, to accelerate the future of work, particularly remote work, hybrid work, and the gig economy. Uh, and so I think the candidate experience is much different today than it was before. You see particular challenges in onboarding, uh, you see challenges in um, recruiters struggling to connect with candidates because candidates are being much more selective about the kinds of opportunities that they are willing to look at. Uh, and that has changed. It's kind of turned the whole apple cart upside down. Mm -hmm. uh, as I look at this, I think that there are, there are really a couple of things to me that are, uh, that are jumping out. I think companies uh, need to embrace this new paradigm that we work in fully uh, in order to attract the kind of talent that they actually want to go get, right? Uh, and that is hard. It's yeah. hard for some companies because structurally, infrastructure from an infrastructure standpoint, they're not built to do it. Yes. Um, I was at a great uh, event the other night put on by Insperity here in Chicago, and one of the speakers was talking about uh, grief uh, and how employees are grieving because work is changing, how we do it is changing, and their whole paradigm has shifted. In some ways, they 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 welcome that change because they want more control over their career. Conversely, I think going forward, you're gonna see employers grieve a little bit because the ways that they've always done things yes. may not work going forward. Um, and so as, as I would say to any candidate out there, um, and I'm a recruiter by trade, I don't mm -hmm. do that every day now, but, uh, but by trade, what I would tell candidates is take control of your career, grab the mic, talk about what it is you want and don't settle for things that don't fit where you want to go from a career perspective. Yeah. Um, I think for the first time in at least my lifetime, workers have control, more uh, have more they have more leverage, right? Yeah, more than choices. they've ever had before. So uh, I, I just think it's going to be an interesting time. And, and to all the workers and companies out there, be bold, make mm -hmm. changes, do things that are different, uh, that give you that ability to attract really high quality yeah. talent. And, and don't be so focused on going fast if you're a company. Focused on going right. Do yes. it right. Don't necessarily just yeah. try to hire as fast as you can because mm -hmm. we're all experiencing attrition. Yeah. I hope that was a decent yeah. answer to you. And question. I believe that before COVID, a lot of times uh, employers were asking, like, I can work from home or can I work one day from home? And they were getting rejection. Sure. But I think as COVID, we know within maybe 72 or maybe a week, companies said, okay, let's go remotely. And it's working now. And I feel that the future of work will be mixed of office and remote. Don't you think? For sure. For sure. I think, you know, you hear people talk about the three, two hybrid, three days in, two days out. Yeah. Uh, I think you're going to see that some newer, less mature organizations will adopt more remote than on site. I think mature organizations mm -hmm. will struggle to get to that three, two. There are industries out there, a couple that I work in, mm -hmm. particularly one which is legal. Uh, that are struggling with this idea. They don't know how the practice of law can happen. And that's both at the corporate counsel level, uh, legal technology companies, uh, and for law firms. They don't necessarily understand how the practice of law can happen yeah, at in home. a remote environment long yeah. term, and yet they just did it. Yeah. Right. So it's it's a fear issue, really, Meher. It, it really is. Yeah. Thank you for those great tips, Ron. I really appreciate that. And for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask Ron a couple of questions which will be posted all, every day. So you can be with, as a journey with us. You can like all the videos, share, make comments. So tune in next time for another great question with Ron.